What's going on guys, this is Bruce Matz and your host of the show, Metric Scout Fantasy Football. And as you've seen from the thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about John Mechie, wide receiver from Alabama, who has been on the roster for a couple years now, playing in the shadow of Devonta Smith, Jalen Waddle last year. And it looks like this is going to be his time to prove himself, to see what he can do as potentially being the league guy in Alabama. I say potentially because they get a lot of dudes. But John Mechie looks like he was next in line in the wide receiver trail last year. The former four-star recruit ranked 40th in his class per 247 Sports in 2019 is finally going to get his shot. Last year, he almost broke out with a 19.67% market share offensive production and a 16.98% Dominator rating. Mind you, that's sharing the field with Devonta Smith, who had a historic year, and Jalen Waddle. He did his thing last year. He was decently efficient, 2.23 yards per route run. Had 10 deep balls targeted to him. That those are targets that went for 20 plus yards or more, and averaged 6.7 yards after the catch for reception when we look at his traits he's your typical technician he fits the alabama mold as around a six foot 200 pound guy and he's quick he's fast enough he's not a burner he's not slow but he's fast enough he has good hands he can stack dbs and when he's even with the defender he's leaving from the defender he's got enough speed to separate he's got enough short area quickness to separate and he's a very savvy smooth route runner he does not telegraph anything either so when the ball's in the air and it's coming to him he waits to the last possible nanosecond for him to lift his arms up lift his hands reach up for the ball to prevent it from getting swatted away makes him tough to cover he's smooth on his cuts he can sell routes. He does everything well. The thing about him is he does everything well, but he's not a lead in anything. He doesn't have super deep speed. He runs routes well. He's crisp, but it's not like he's on like a Stefan Diggs level. It's not like he is creme de la creme. He has good hands, but it's not like he's making highlight real catches left and right. He's dependable. He is good, but he's not that type of player that wows you he can do some good things but it's not like he is a top shelf athlete he's a jack of all trades and a master of none which is good it's going to get the job done especially at the college level and that may allow him to get drafted higher that alabama tax is real so if he can assert himself as the wide receiver one for alabama put up some yards Bryce Young and just ball out have a good third year and just own the offense then this could be his time to shine and then the Alabama tax kicks in on the draft capital and then you got a player that bumps up in value and dynasty Debbie whatever you're playing at that point he's a dynasty player and Debbie right now is being drafted as the wide receiver 10 per DLF's Dynasty League Football's Debbie ADP with an average draft position of 24, 24 points something. He's a late second round pick. This is a good spot for him because we know that Alabama attacks could kick in at any time and that could allow him to just jump value. We've seen this with Alabama players before and we're going to see it again. A stud program just does that for players. He's not a stud player. He's not a stud prospect. However, if he develops, he takes a step forward in his development. He's more savvy, gets a little bit more pop off his step. We may see something. I'm not expecting Devonta Smith level play. I'm not expecting Jalen Waddle type speed, but a good year can really help him immensely. Am I all in on him? Not really. Am I keeping an eye on him? Yes. Am I all right with him at this price point? Yeah, and he's sharing this wide receiver room with a bunch of dudes. Ajay Hall looks like a monster, a freshman. You also got Baker, Bolden, Jojo Earl, Ja'Cory Brooks. You got a lot of guys in there, a lot of competition for targets. One of those guys could step up and steal the show for him. So it's not like Mechie's locked to be the guy. Say he gets a sprained ankle, something happens, and then one of these guys step up because we got a lot of talent here. 
that could Wally pip him. The high hand usually wins at that standpoint. Another thing I want to think about here, he is good. He's he's very savvy. He's a technician, but it may not be good enough to get him in the first round. He may be a second, third round guy. We don't know. We got to see how the chips fall this season. I'm also very interested in see how Nick Saban incorporates these young wide receivers. Usually, they allow these wide receivers to spend a little time in the system before they anoint them in the wide receiver chair, allow them to get the targets. But as we know with coaches, all situations, all programs, things change. Talent wins out. Cream always rises to the top. And it's just going to be fun to watch. I can't wait for college football to come back. I can't wait to watch SEC football. I can't wait to see what does Alabama team looks like next year. I, I want to see what John Mechie does. Am I in love with him? Not really. Do I hate him? No. Is he's a guy I'm keeping an eye on? Yes. Yes, I'll have him on teams, but I'm not really excited about it either. I just want to see. I think he can be a riser, but I'm not overly impressed either. I think his program, the potential of getting a boost in draft capital due to where he's from could help him a lot. I mean, you're getting national exposure week in and week out. All the good things that you do is highlight on the opposite end of that spectrum. All the bad things you're doing is also getting highlighted. Mechie, if he has a good year, if he develops, takes a step forward. I know we saw tape from him already from his freshman and sophomore year, but if he has better junior year tape, third year tape at age 20, then that could help him a lot. Another thing, he hasn't officially broken out yet. Barely missed the cutoff point at age 19. If he breaks out this year, he has an age 20 breakout age. Metrically, that's not really great. It's not horrific. It's not a death knell because he's right on that fringe point. It's a little bit past where we want him to be. We want the age 19 breakout. We want the age 18 breakouts with these wide receivers. Age 20 makes you a little bit skeptical, but it's not a death knell. If it took till age 21, 22, then that's dangerous. Again, Mechie's a guy just to keep an eye out here in 2021. Keep popping that tape on him. This is going to be an interesting year for him. I want to thank you for watching the show, sticking with me this long. Hit that subscribe button on the way out, and I'll catch you next time.